Hello and welcome my friend. Today I will show you how to use Asset Viewer program. Let's just start. Open this program called Asset Viewer. It will take a while. And you can see it's loading some files. Okay, done. And you can see this asset tree. Um, so basically, I will just start with exploring. That's really interesting. So just um, open this folder. Open, for example, this first. And you can see, wow, what's this? You can see it's 3D model. What's this? Wow, it's another model. So yeah, there are there are models, there are textures. You can explore that. Uh, there are effects, you know, uh, some rocks, aircrafts, cockpits, so much to explore. But hey, how how do I move? How do I like rotate? So you will just select your item. Now you will move your cursor here into this uh, preview window. Uh, left click here, you can see now there is this yellow border around. Now you have to click uh, space and your cursor will disappear. Now you can mm, use your mouse and rotate around. And you also you can use your mm, keyboard uh, VASD to move like uh, forward, backwards and left right so yeah you can now move with uh, your mouse and keyboard also you can use your middle wheel when you press space again your cursor will appear again now you cannot use your mm, mouse rotation and your keyboard to move but you can use your uh, middle wheel if you have to do something like this. If you move your mouse with your middle wheel pressed, also you can you can try to rotate it directly. You can rotate that object also uh, like this. Also, you can type here. So yeah, pretty nice things. Okay, and what's this type? There are many mm, file types. You, you will just discover them uh, over time. But you can click this all and you can see there are many mm, object types like models, textures and so on. But for now, you can just keep in mind that there are some types. If you want to view only selected um, type you can just uh, click this all and select only what you want if you want to see only textures you will uh, select this and ok you can see that it is filtering only textures and you will see only textures so yeah pretty interesting stuff ok select all ok and now I will just, um, yeah, this filter, filter and search. You can basically, let's say I want to find mm, mouse tank. I will just type mouse and yeah, I can just, uh, it is filtering to, um, like files with mouse inside of their name. So yeah, let's, let's check this. I will just reset that rotation to zero zero, and yeah, just move. Oops, just go there. Space. Now that you can move with keyboard and mouse, and explore this. So, what can we do? We can do. Um, we can play with these as well. These these lots are like uh, it is optimized 
and lot zero as you can see it's um if you're viewing this object from um 40 meters it will use lot zero which has which is the um, uh, best quality model if you switch to this 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 will be viewed from 180 meters and it's little bit um lower quality model with like lower quality um stuff you can see this is even lower quality and this is viewed from 3000 kilometers so you don't like from this distance you will not see like three kilometers can be like this you will not notice the difference so yeah these are lots so yeah also you can do some stuff with animations and stuff like that okay what else you can do you can pretty much go to these environmental settings it's also a very useful thing and you can see um this the book settings you can see diffuse um you can see spectacular normal smooth and the and so much stuff you can use when you are creating skins or you are testing uh, your model textures and so on you might use this later in our later tutorials but it's very important to know about this feature for now you can mm, you can just play with that uh yeah you can also set your weather settings you can check you can mm, set your time today night so 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 on also your weather good hazy cloudy and so on in your preview you can render your grid which is also very nice to have also render shadows and so okay you can play with some environmental settings here um also mm, show this icon show our height console is very very useful and it can show you mm, some errors here and usually you can see uh, some errors in red and you can also see which caused these errors so if you have any problem with like um asset viewer you can check if it's not saying something that something is wrong okay so console is very nice mm, tool as well and you can also create screenshots i guess it they will be saved in um in your uh, what's under cdk actually yeah you can see this very nice screenshot also you can um go to settings screenshot and make this resolution a little bit better like like this and you can also um, improve that quality okay let's create screenshot like this so create screenshot and yeah create this uh, yeah so yeah also you can check some other stuff yeah this is also very useful auto zoom and center and you for now i guess what i didn't mention i am thinking yeah these uh, view modes you can switch between like fly mode um fps mode 
but it's not very useful in Asset Viewer, I guess. Um, tips mount, but in Asset Viewer, I guess you will not use this anyway. Mm, we will use this in Mission and Location Editor, so you will you will see what this icons does later. Um, so. Yeah, so you can basically explore stuff. Uh, you can also export textures if you want to edit them, like skinning and so on. And yeah, this this search button, this is really uh, this. I recommend you to use this always. If you want to s mm, search for, I don't know, pumpkin. And yeah, you you can see that it's located here here so yeah so you can see pretty much every model every texture that's in game and also if we will add some models and textures and so on into game you will be able to check them here you will be able to check if they are working correctly, if the textures are working correctly, like you want to. Uh, and you can create some screenshots. You can adjust your background. I guess you can even add model into your background. Like you want to, not sure. Okay. Yeah, but I I guess this is not very useful. But you can do that. I never did that. So yeah. Also cube screenshot. Okay. Yeah, it's saved here. In PGA format. Um, yeah, pretty much it's, um, yeah, I forgot to mention, we will, if we will do some custom models, we will export them from here into game. You can like, um, export stuff, but that's, that's what we will use later. For now it's nice tool to explore, to like explore stuff and download textures for like skinning and yeah that's much what i have to say for now yeah see you later